Good morning! This is such a monumental day. Today marks the very first day that Disney's All-Star Sports is reopened. I am so, so excited for them here. It's been closed for two years now and they've underwent some pretty extensive refurbishments and while we won't get a sneak peek at one of the rooms, I'm sure we'll probably be checking in for that a little bit later. Uh, but I did want to give you kind of a nice little peek at what the resort looks like and how fresh and new it is and mark this occasion. Come along for the ride. Okay, so today is first day of All Star Sports reopening. Check out this lobby. Look how festive they are. They are totally stoked to be re-welcoming guests. Look at all the balloons, they're so cute. They've got all the different sports themes there to celebrate. They've got all the different colors. They are so excited to have us back here. I actually saw them clapping for the people getting off of the Mears Connect bus earlier and I couldn't be more warmed. It was, it was just tear jerking moments. Uh, right here in the lobby, there's even got a seating area uh, for anyone that's uh, kind of not checking in there. Like little ones like to kind of sit and have something to do while their parents are checking in at the main lobby and uh, making sure that they have all their room reservations secured. Coming out of the lobby, you have the sport goofy gifts and sundries. And there's also an entrance way out to the bus stop uh, from this main check-in building. So you will have plenty of entrances and exits all throughout this building. Going through these double doors is where you will find the bus transportation. It's your one and only bus stop out here. And these lovely letters spell out All Star Sports right here. Uh, but this is where you can expect to be picked up and dropped off for not only the Walt Disney World parks, but the water parks as well. Blizzard Beach, Typhoon Lagoon, Disney Springs, all of that is going to be right here at this one stop and if you're departing on an airport shuttle um, drop off is at the front obviously but this is going to be your new pickup stop right here at this airport shuttle stop i really like that they've integrated these new screens here so as you're waiting on walt disney world transportation they have these kind of tv screens uh, set up multiple different places there by the bus stops so that way you can kind of track how much longer you have until the bus arrives and pro tip you can also track these in the my disney experience mobile app all right let's go have a look inside of sport goofy at all the new merchandise offerings here right here we've got the kind of like a a rubbery hi keychain here it says all-star resorts these are believe 9.99 okay cool if you are more of a christmas ornament you're wanting to kind of mark the occasion with being able to be here and mark where you stayed at your resort they've got these cute fun little ornaments these are 16.99 we have cheerleader mickey for 22.99 in an ornament looks like we've got a magnet here with the all-star sports logo and then of course a sports themed t-shirt how much are you friend $24.99. So if you're not specifically looking for merchandise to the All-Star Sports Resort, they do have several other options. Good morning for apparel. Oh, we've got some turning red stuff here too. Uh, they do have some sports themed type stuff there, not just specific to the resort, but they've got lots of apparel, collectibles, different souvenir items here really anything that you could possibly need uh, if you're just staying here at the resort. Uh, so don't feel so hard pressed to get out to Disney Springs or go out to the parks to buy a bunch of the stuff. Sometimes you can find a few things here. I absolutely love that they have some of the ESPN Wide World of Sports complex souvenirs here. So this tumbler is $29.99. You can see it's got Mickey, uh, Goofy, Donald, all our friends there. I believe this is a fold out uh, blanket. $26.99, not so bad. So it's a sitting blanket. They've even got these hoodies, ESPN hats and visors. Ooh, this is nice. Ooh, and I love this dry fit polo. These are nice, along with the Wide World of Sports logo. Very neat. Oh, okay, so we've got softballs, we've got Mickey themed baseballs. Oh, how, how adorable. Set of three golf balls if you have an avid sports fanatic in your future there 
and even mini soccer balls and footballs. Cute. Yeah. All right, here we go down the hall. Let's go check out the arcade. Ooh, okay, so this is Game Point Arcade. It's open from 8 a.m. to 11. You can see it's a pretty extensive arcade. Uh, so if you're not familiar with how the arcades work here at Walt Disney World, they do have cards that you pay money for. They, they're a loadable, refillable um, station there. It's actually over to my right, but check this out. It's almost like a full-on amusement park in and of itself just for games. It's pretty extensive. I'm quite impressed. My kids could spend hours in here. Hours upon hours, for sure. All right, here's a good look at the recharge station. So you can see, you can either insert credit card, cash there, you can scan a card, get a receipt, take a new card, but these are the prices for the recharge. And I believe that they're valid at all the different kinds of game stations here. Oh, this one looks pretty fun. It's like a flight simulator. Nice. Oh, I love how they've got the 50th emblem there on the Space Invaders. That's pretty cool. Ooh, this says happy opening day. And it lists all the resort activities, lobby, poolside, Mickey tie-dye, touchdown campfire for tonight. They even host an arcade tournament. And of course, we return to the movies under the stars. So special. All right, so we've made it out to End Zone Food Court. Guys, I'm telling you, All Stars Resorts has the best food offerings here. Check out what they are offering for breakfast. You got regular vanilla pancakes, some with berry compote, Mickey shaped waffles, a bounty platter, even plant-based Mickey frittata, steel cut oatmeal, ham and cheese omelets, cinnamon rolls. Actually, I was just talking with a cast member and he said to try the sticky buns. They were delicious. They've even got options for lunch and dinner. Lunch runs from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. and then dinner takes over from there, but you've got options for pizza, a grill shop there with different sandwiches, cheeseburgers, pulled pork, hot dogs, even chicken strips. And if you're looking for something a little bit more uh, hearty for dinner, you've got seared salmon dinners, braised beef, Greek salads with hummus or a plant-based tuna, and an impossible burger and they've got a pretty decent selection of kids meals as well. So there's something really for anybody here, including the pickiest of all eaters, like my kids. I'm hearing for a second time, the sticky bun is where it's at, so we gotta get one of those. Hi, can I try one of your cinnamon rolls, please? Awesome. Oh my goodness, look how fresh they are. This is amazing, I am so excited. And these are so big, they are almost like Gaston's Tavern-esque big. It might not be as tall, but I'm totally okay with that. Cause that's too much anyway. It's no secret that I absolutely love the food offerings here at All Star Resorts. I've said that over and over, but check out how cute these little Mickey cupcakes are. They are cookies and cream, and they've got the cute little uh, chocolate garnishments there for the ears. I believe this one is either chocolate or red velvet. And they've even got the celebration domes here. Got these great M&M cookie offerings, a 50th lemon blueberry macaron, some different brownies, and they've also got an extensive line of pastries here for breakfast. Oh, these are so delicious. So one of the cast members here, the managing cast members, was telling me about the frittata and the vanilla pancakes that they are brand new offerings. However, he pulled me over here to these commemorative Coke bottles. So they've got a general 50th Coke bottle right here. That's gonna be out at all the resorts, but they've got one for each of the four parks. We can see Animal Kingdom right here, the Castle for Magic, we've got Spaceship Earth there, and Hollywood Studios. I totally have to grab one now. How can I not? Okay, you guys, the original plan was to go through End Zone Food Court, take all my pictures, talk to a few cast members, and then come back and eat before heading back onto my car. They talk me into this cinnamon bun. Some, some of them call them the sticky bun, some of them call it the cinnamon bun. Look how awesome this is. It's massive. It is a massive cinnamon roll. They're telling me it's so delicious. 
Uh, I was also t talking with another cast member. She said they've been open for a couple of weeks just to kind of tidy up, clean up, get everything ready for us. And she said she was so, so excited to see us all back here, back in action. She said Disney certainly saved the last or the best for last as far as the resort openings went because they could not be happier to have us all back here and I am so stoked for them when we were talking she almost made me cry <laughs> which I know isn't hard to do but it is just such an emotional day but never mind that because we got a cinnamon roll try mmm that is good it's got a really healthy mix of the cinnamon to icing ratio I'm sure you could probably ask for a little bit more cinnamon if you wanted to and they would probably oblige that don't quote me on that though um, but it's, it's just a really healthy mix the bun itself isn't too uh, firm it's, it's pretty soft and you can tell it's just fresh it's, it's just amazing first cinnamon bun at all-star sports and this is awesome and you all know me and my obsession with coca-cola so when i saw these commemorative bottles you know that one was coming home with me <laughs> for sure but aren't they so cute we got the 50th emblem down here they've got the iridescentness oh no probably a good thing that we picked up this one to actually drink but i'll probably pick one up just to kind of have on display at home these are cute okay so now that we're done with breakfast let's go and explore a little bit of the resort i'm hoping that this rain will stave off a little bit oh there's people already in the pool this is so awesome so this is surfs up it's one of the preferred sections here at disney's all-star sports resort you can see it's noted by all of the surfboards and beachy themes they've even got the bathhouse over there which is where your changing station is going to be and restrooms but it's a pretty wide extensive pool right behind me outside of the food court in zone food court is the grand sand spirits so there is sections out here where you can be outside and order poolside drinks but if you walk back into end zone there is also a walk-up window there so if you want to sit inside and order drinks you can comfortably do so here is our handy dandy sports directory you can see buildings one is surfs up that's where we're at building six is also surfs up so they are also just making up the preferred section here it's a pretty extensive resort in between all of the buildings building two right there around that first loop is going to be hoops hotel followed by three four and five are going to be center court with more of a tennis type theming then we move on to seven and ten those are the touchdown uh, preferred rooms as well and then eight and nine are more of a home run hotel for uh, more of like a baseball type theming they do also have a mapped out running trail around here so you can run around all-star sports music and movies here's a little closer up look of the surfs up bathhouse so that houses the guest laundry or at least one of the locations but respectively on each side they have the restroom areas if you need an emergency call or an ad they've got that right here by the bathhouse right by the pool oh i love the little fin detailing and you can check out recreational activities here i saw a foosball table over by the food uh court on the outside and they've also got this ping pong table too so this is one of the preferred sections this is surfs up hello welcome back but you can see they've got all the surfboards here the fins super ginormous fan uh, and I love that they've got such a good cohesive unit here between all the all-stars resorts so it really doesn't matter which of the three that you're choosing unless you have a preference on the thing I know I can't get a great shot of it but this is the kitty pool here right by the surfs up pool let me see if I can zoom in a little but it's more of like a little splash pad play area they have even got connect for over there for the little ones Look at Mickey on display here for the All-Star Sports Resort, welcoming us into this section of the resort. Hey, Mick! Oh, love, 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 love this larger-than-life theming. And guys, uh, the All-Stars Resort, specifically sports, music, movies, mainly sports, tends to host some of the bigger events. Um, event participants I guess is really what I should say as far as the sports teams the bands the concerts the um, choruses that come in here the cheer 
Uh, all of those tend to filter through some of these resorts through here. But you can see how cool are these basketballs going through the hoops here. Coming around the Hoops Hotel section, you can see we've made it into Center Court where you can find Donald Duck and his nephews playing ball. So they are out here playing some, looks like a mix of tennis and maybe baseball because the boys are playing baseball and yet there's a big old tennis court right here. How cute are they? Okay, I think we're ready to go out back by Stadium Hall, go by Surfboard Bay Pool again, and go back out to the other loop and check out the other building themes. Who else is excited? It's opening day! Hey, we're seeing a lot of resort vehicles here. It looks like they're really still trying to hustle and bustle to get everything just as perfect as they can here for reopening day. Everybody from landscaping to house mousekeeping to just general management. Hello, welcome back. I love to see that everybody's so bright eyed and bushy tailed out this morning. I'm gonna direct your attention over here for just a second because if you can recall, over at the resort activities section, we saw that they were doing a touchdown campfire that can be held or found right here where it's held, right outside the touchdown rooms. Let's round the corner out here and see if we can get in a little bit further. Whew, it's a little windy today. Look how awesome these are. We've got these super larger than life football helmets. I think they're almost bigger than the football field here, but if you've ever had the dream to run down the field, now is your moment. Right here in the touchdown section, check out all the different sports teams they have right up top of each of those yard markers. You might look closely and find your own favorite because they are everywhere. You guys, these larger than life helmets and decorations are just awe inspiring as they are in their daytime presence. But if you'll come back at night, I promise you, you won't be disappointed. They are a sight to be held. That is for sure. Look at all the people on the banisters there for the railings on each balcony. There's your crowd. They're cheering for you. And look, we just came from down that way. The football field keeps going and going. We're unstoppable. Now we have reached Home Run Hotel, which is going to be technically, I believe, a standard room. But you can see the check-in buildings right there. Like Touchdown and Surf's up, Surf's up are your preferred buildings, that's for sure. But if that's not really your speed and you're okay with walking just a shorter distance, check out Home Run Hotel. This is not a bad section either. So you can see this larger than life theming here too between those Louisville Sluggers and those wonderful white baseballs. They've got such a great, great atmosphere out here. It looks like they've got badminton right here by the pool. And then they've also got Goofy. Batter up. Oh, Goofy. There's no cannons in baseball. You're so silly. But it does make for a pretty cool pool theme and a spray pad area. Nicely done. I'll let this one slide. Rounding out beside of the pool, you come in here to the Home Run Hotel guest laundry area. I told you there were two. So the first one was by the bathhouse for that kind of side of the resort. But this is gonna be your second one. You can access that with your room key. And it is a card, I believe, a reloadable card there that you pay for uh, the laundry services there. Watch and dry your, your items while you're here. There's also restrooms on respective sides. They're just all from the pool area. So it makes it pretty convenient there too. Oh my goodness, you guys. What an incredible morning. I am so emotional right now because it's opening day. So good game riders. I'm really excited for this resort to be the last and final installment reopened here of the Walt Disney World Resorts. Please, please, please don't forget to check out all of our other live streams and other vlogs here on the channel. Make sure you're subscribed, you hit that notification bell so you get alerted every time we're either live or upload a new video. Uh, but I believe this is gonna kinda kick off our new resort tour, so we can't just stop here. 
we're totally gonna have to go after all the others again. So um, feel free to continue our journey on and we'll pick another resort for next week. Bye for now guys, catch you on the next ride.